India. Year after year, this grand, chaotic and vibrant land has lured me back. Here that something happened which changed my life. I fell in love. Her name was Tara. She was a beautiful female Asian elephant. Together we traveled across her country. At first it was just another adventure, a whim, that elephants like India move subtly and slowly. I became obsessed and to my astonishment I discovered that this extraordinary animal was teetering on the brink of extinction. I couldn't imagine India without elephants. I decided to make another journey to see for myself, to find out what future was left for these beautiful animals. In my travels, I had heard of an extraordinary woman. She was the daughter of an Indian prince and had spent her entire life living and working with elephants. Her name was Parvati Barawa, known as the Queen of the Elephants. Who better to help me understand the crisis which threatens the survival of these animals. Here, in the foothills of the Himalayas, in one of their last strongholds, the Asian elephant perhaps faces its greatest challenge for survival. Parvati had agreed to show me what was left of the elephant's old migratory route and teach me all she could about the animal to which she dedicated her life. At her forest camp, in a remote corner of Bengal, in northeast India, Parvati introduced me to her two elephants. Mm -hmm. My goodness. This is Lucky, Lucky Mala, and this is Kanchan, Kanchan Mala. This is Lucky Mala Kanchan and Kanchan Mala. Mala. Yes. What does uh, Lucky Mala, what does Lucky Mala mean? Lucky is the deity, I mean, goddess of wealth. The goddess of wealth? Uh, Mala means garland. Garland. And uh. Kanchan means gold. Kanchan means gold, so golden garland. Golden garland. Which one will I be riding? Kanchan. On oh, Kanchan. Is there a reason for that? Kanchan is a good tempered elephant. A good tempered elephant. Oh, I think calm I... and quiet. Ah, that's what I'm going to need. Is it too? So she'll look after me, will she? Yes. How long have you had um, um, Lucky? I captured Lucky. You captured her? Yes. Really? How did you catch her? Lasso in Malashika. Lasso? Malashika, it is called Malashika. I've heard a little bit about that, but you'll have to tell me more about yes, that later. Yes, of course, I'll tell you. I'll tell ah. you later on. Kanchan has beautiful, um, pale eyes. Temperament can be judged from eye. Really? Yeah. And what else? Don't ask so many questions today. Oh, okay, I'm <laughs> you will, sorry. You will, you will know ah. everything in course of time. Okay. In Africa, there are over 500,000 elephants in the wild. 
But in the whole of Asia, where once they roamed in their millions, there are now less than 50,000 surviving in ever-diminishing fragments of forest. India holds about half this remaining population, and of these, the largest herds are confined to the frontier states of the northeast. It seemed to me that the world had forgotten there was another elephant. A thin ribbon of broken forest stretches from Nepal to North Bengal, along the southern border of Bhutan and on into Assam. We would ride Parbati's elephants east, along what remains of the corridor which wild herds have roamed for thousands of years. But first, she told me, I would have to learn about elephants, and that meant starting from scratch, living alongside her mahouts, men who, under her direction, work her elephants in the traditional role of timber extraction, and now increasingly use them to drive out wild herds, which, in their search for food, threaten the livelihoods of farmers and villages. As a young girl, Parbati would sneak away from school and join her father in his forest camps, where she learnt about the capture and training of wild elephants. So really, from the moment you were born, mm -hmm. there were elephants? Yes, of course. I, I opened my eyes and see the elephant first. You saw an elephant. The first thing you saw was an elephant. That's first incredible. Time. This passion for elephants, Parbati, did this, this all, all stem from your father? Yes, of course. He's my guru. He was your guru. Yes. And he, he basically worked in this area and Assam and worked with elephants all his yes. life. Yes. And my papa taught me, do this thing, do this thing. Uh -huh. Gradually, I... Gradually, you learned from learned him. Learned from him. It was an extraordinary childhood, but the only one that could have prepared her for the life which lay ahead. And how long does, does somebody have to serve as an apprentice? At least five years. Five years? Yes. That's a long time. I mean, I'll be here forever. No, no, no. Uh, I'll teach you. I'll teach you in five days. What, what time do I have to get up in the morning? Four o'clock. Four o'clock? Why is she why is she opening the bundle? That is a game. Too. It's a game. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> what she the bundle is there. What, the, what what is there inside the bundle? Yeah. She wants to know. She wants to know it before she puts it in her yes. mouth. Yes. Ah. Not now, not now. Oh, no. Okay. Let her finish. Now, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. No, no, no. Nope. Hmm. Another way to squeeze their eyes yes. when they when they it must be the taste is so delicious to get. Uh, yes. Mm. Fantastic. Mahouts or elephant drivers are a proud and secretive fraternity. Their customs and traditions stretching back thousands of years. I realized I had my work cut out. Not only would I have to try and break down the barriers which separated my world from theirs, I was going to have to prove myself especially to Parbati's head mahout, Pandika, who had personally caught over 150 elephants and had been serving the Barua family long before Parbati was even born. <laughs> elephants have huge appetites but suffer from a poor digestive system. Most of what they eat is passed as manure. 
Between elephant and man, there is equality. It's not a master-servant relationship. I must say, it's nice to have somebody to clean your dung up in the morning. The elephant always comes first. The mahout must gain and maintain the elephant's trust and respect. To lose it can be fatal. It's not uncommon for an elephant to kill its keeper. Some have killed a dozen in their lives. It is said an elephant never forgets. I once witnessed an elephant pick up and smash its sleeping mahout like a toy. Later I found out that he had been abusing the animal. But as I discovered for myself with Tara, the trust and respect between man and elephant can turn into a complete passion. Like Parpati's father's favorite elephant, Pratap Singh, of whom he said, it was a strange relationship of friendship and love. Had I heard about this kind of friendship and love from someone else, I would not have believed it. But now I know how deeply an elephant can love. Pratap would only obey me. He would never touch his food unless he saw me before him. I have seen nearly 2,000 elephants in my life, but none other like him. There is only one Taj Mahal, not two. Pratap was incomparable, he was unique. I soon realized that Parbati was also unique. Not only was she one of the best in her profession, she had achieved the extraordinary feat of being accepted in a male-dominated world and above all, commanded the respect of all about her. Nothing escaped her gaze. Everything revolved around the welfare of the elephants. There was a strict routine, and each day began in the same way. I must always watch that tail, yeah? Yes. Because the tail. Dum. Dum. What does dum mean? Tail will be stand still. Dum. Uh. Dum. But these are people whose livelihoods depend on these animals, and they must be carefully looked after. An elephant is not like a car which you leave in the garage when you don't need it. Every day there are four tons or more of hungry anticipation waiting for you. There are no holidays for a mahout. The moment Kanshan took her first step forward, that familiar rock and roll rhythm filled me with a wonderful sense of peace. It was also agony. Astride her massive back, my legs shrieked and groaned as they were forced apart like a pair of rusty old calibrators. In ancient Sanskrit, the elephant was known as Mariga Hastin, the beast with one hand. This remarkable appendage is powered by a hundred thousand muscles and combines awesome strength with unbelievable dexterity. With it, an elephant can easily uproot a tree, remove the seed from an orange, and its sneeze can even knock out a dog. Over the centuries, mahouts have acquired a unique knowledge of the medicinal properties of certain plants. How they have gathered this knowledge is quite remarkable. You say that one of your elephants was sick mm -hmm. uh, and there was some problem. Mm -hmm. You would take her into the jungle? Yes. Um, let, let loose her. Let her loose? She will take the medicinal plant, uh -huh. which is, which is uh, suitable for her. Uh -huh. Then we just uh, remember that plant. So basically the knowledge 
The knowledge that of uh, medicinal plants is basically mm -hmm. you're being taught by, by the elephant. Yes. Ah, I see. So you're watching all the time and you're seeing, mm -hmm. oh, well, that's right, so we take that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you know what the problem is. Mm -hmm. I see. So that has come down for many, many generations. Yes, yes. many, many generations. How much do they actually have to eat a day? I mean, how much quantity? 250 kilogram green fodder. 250 kilos yes. of green fodder. Green fodder. Why do you have to change their diet? I mean, for reasons of, of stomach problems or they can't eat the same thing all the time? The board. And sometimes you They're know, bored? Yes. Oh, they like a little bit of uh, a change. Change. In their like diet, us. of course. Yes, uh -huh. of course. Like us. Uh -huh. And poverty was getting bored too. In my eagerness to learn, I was asking far too many questions. Apart from the mahout, the elephant is attended by a charkatie, or apprentice, one of whose many menial jobs is to gather fodder. It's only when the charkatie has gained the respect and trust of both the owner and the elephant that he is considered worthy of being a partner in this most bizarre of relationships, a relationship in which the elephant could easily kill his keeper, but instead becomes his best friend. Three hours and 500 kilos of green fodder later, we rode home with a single day's food for two elephants. Somebody's going to be with me on the other side. Yes, yes, Pandika is going ah. with you. And you're going to be. I'm with. Uh, I'll be with you, no problem. I'm oh, <laughs> lucky. Now, Kanchan, I beg of you. Clear your mind. Think about Kanchan. Just concentrate my mind. Yes. Just on her. On her. Huh? And forget all other things. Forget everything else. Everything. My head is full of things. It's rattling around. I think some of them are coming out the other side. Anyway, it's, you, are, you are in Mahout's position today. I'm, in, so. I'm actually yes. in the Mahout's position. Yes. OK. So, so. and then Pandika will be behind me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Say, bite. Mm -hmm. Bite. Ah. Bite means to sit. To sit down. Yes. Bite. Tera bite. Tera. 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 Sit. Now where? Yes. Sit here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, keep your leg. Ah. Uh, uh, here. Inside there. Oof. Tera. Oof. Hang on. I have to be a contortionist to do this. Uh, I can't get it in. I have two big feet. Wait. Wait. Now, now it is. It, it is. Hold the ye, huh? Hold the rope first. Hold the rope. Let the. Oh. Yes. Now, do. I feel totally out of control. <laughs> Pantika, have you got me? I'm on a bloody volcano. Yes. Huh? Pour, pour, pour your leg. Hold, hold, huh? You're so tight, Bansin. Why do you need bandages? Ah. Okay. <laughs> there, my God, you got a lot of pressure on here. Yes. Ow! Oh, oh, Kanchan. Every time Kanchan yeah. puts her head back, my toes break. Yes, like yes. that. Is that normal? Yes, that's normal. Okay, okay. 
I tell you, it's like having your legs in a vice. God. Are you comfortable? No, not at all. Hold the rope. Hold the rope. Yes. Very important thing. Yes. How do I stop the elephant? Dhat. Is there a command? Yes. Say dhat. Huh? Dhat. Huh? Dhat. Dhat. Yes. Ah, ah, that's the word I want, because yes. that, for me, is the most important command. Yes, yes. I don't mind about go back, I want to stop. If you want to stop the elephant, yeah. do like this. Like... The rope is here. Yes. So you, you do like you this. dig your heels back. Yes. Backwards. Dhat. Bah. You say, if you want to elephant, take elephant back, then you say, piche. Take, when I want the elephant to go backwards, yes. I just want the elephant to stop. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so when I take say, the, piche. Yeah. Piche. OK. And you just do this. OK. Piche. With the heels. Piche. And then to go forward. I got I got oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pandika, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> where are you, Parvati? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Where's Pandika? I'm yes. losing everybody. I can't actually see where everything is at the moment. I'm actually trying to keep my balance. I keep my eyes around the wrong way. See, you're there. How do I, um, uh, for left and right? Yes. It had been a long time since I'd ridden an elephant. No two elephants are the same, and no animal senses a lack of confidence quicker. They will exploit you mercilessly unless you impose your will. Turn right. Turn right. Gee, I'm trying to. Gee. A good working elephant will respond to at least 30 commands, some many more. But in rare cases, the understanding between elephant and rider is such that words are unnecessary. Shabash. Shabash means. Um... Well but slowly, with Parvati's expert and patient guidance, and reassured by the presence of Pandika behind me, I felt Kanchan and I were getting to know one another. But I still had a lot to learn. Do you spill it from this end here? Yes. From? Like this. So you spill it down the middle, right the way down? Yes. Ah. I'm not sure I've done that very well. Mm -hmm. Is it mm -hmm. like that? No, 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 not like that. Oh. Like this. The, the other way around. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Like that? Mm. Uh huh. Yes. Ah, like that? Yes. Now a little bit of this. What is it? This is what? This is wheat, boiled wheat. Boiled wheat. Is there anything else? Any other? Salt. Any? Salt? Yes. Is that good particularly for something for the elephants? For stomach. For the stomach? Yes. Ah. How many of these are made each morning for the elephants? 200. 200 each morning? <laughs> each morning. <laughs> Well, I'd have to start like at the moment at about one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right? You can do in the evening. Well, the night before. Yes. Uh, you're going to sleep. Ah, it's better now. Better. Yes. Nice. Yours looks a lot neater than mine. Um, mine looks like I'm not too sure even the elephants want to eat this. You are new to it. Ah. So. Right. So, Mark, I'm leaving you. You do it yourself. Okay. okay. You think I've got the hang of it? Yes. Yeah? Try. Okay. Thank you, Pervati. Last one. Not a bad one either. Thank God for that. All the elephant is washed. Yes. This portion should not run. All here. Ah, here. Uh -huh. Up to this. Right up to there. Mm. Uh -huh. Then again. Then this. Not on the spine. Oh, not on the spine. Because that's a very sensitive place. Yes. 
Can I pour some water on? Please. Thank you. Elephants love water, and for me, bathing an elephant is something close to paradise. Sometimes I've seen, I saw with Tara, she did a strange thing. After, mm -hmm. when we'd taken her from the bath, mm -hmm. she'd pick up a stick, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and, thing, and she'd clean between her toenails. Ah, yes. Uh. How long should they spend in the water a day? At least uh, two hours. Two hours a day to cool them down. Uh -huh. It's the time when the mahout can carefully check the condition of his elephant. But more importantly, I now realize, it was the time when the mahout gets closest to it. Elephants are at their most vulnerable when they're lying down. They're putting their trust in the mahout. It's a kind of bonding which needs to be reinforced day after day after day. It was harvest time. The next few weeks would be critical to the livelihoods of the community. Daily prayers were made to the gods, seeking their protection. There are hundreds of thousands of deities in the Hindu pantheon. But there is one who must be addressed before any other. Ganesh, the elephant-headed god, the lord of beginnings, the remover of obstacles, and ironically, the god of protection. For the same wild elephants which threaten the ripening crops are believed to be his reincarnation. In India, every journey begins with a puja, a ceremony to evoke blessings and to ensure good luck on the endeavor. Parbati evoked her family deities and the spirits of the forest. Through rituals of purification, prayer and sacrifice, she addressed and appeased the gods. We are your children. We are coming into your territory. Protect and guide us on our journey and forgive us for our mistakes. <laughs> 